Welcome back. Beep. Fun fact, 2020 marks my 10th year of making YouTube videos. It's actually taken all 10 of those years for me to make a video exclusively about leg exercises. But here we are in an apocalyptic fucking future. But first, a word from our sponsor, me. These Jack Baby Yoda shirts are now available on DomMerch.com along with Do You Even Lift, the game, which has now been restocked. So go ahead and go to DomMerch.com and uh, help your boy out. It's been like 15 days into the fucking year, but I've already racked up a pretty grotesque gambling debt. I was betting on World War III to wipe everybody out, along with, you know, my, my gambling debt. I also was just betting on World War III and lost pretty big on that. So if you wanna, you know, help your boy out, this is the way I have spoken. Guys who love leg day are the horse girls of the gym. Goody fucking squat shoes over here. Oh, look at me. I do leg day and I work out for health benefits. Yeah, I bet you're fucking floss too, you geek. Take your leg day and take an actual fucking hike, you boy scout. But if you insist on doing leg day, I'd rather you do it under my supervision. Like the cool mom who lets the kids drink in the basement. Meanwhile, your brother's over there dying of alcohol poisoning and you're one YOLO stroke away from getting your 18 year old and a few months girlfriend pregnant. And your mom's upstairs clapped out on sandwiches masturbating the NCIS. And then Uncle Dom sneaks in with a bottle of Moscato and a chocolate butt plug, and boom, just like that, we're family. Don't get it twisted though, I ain't your dad. I am the guy who's fucking your mom though. Where were we? Oh yeah, leg day, I'm uh, making it alpha. Yeah, so if you're gonna do it, you might as well make it alpha, I guess. If like I set this up right, I could run with me on this. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. that'll work. Put a pin in that one for later. Deadlifts. Now deadlifts are considered by many to be the most alpha of all exercises. Mostly by fat dudes though, or as they prefer to be called, power lifters, AKA power fatties. Now this is because theoretically, you can lift the most weight on, dead, on fucking deadlifts. So that's why they think it's out. But they don't tell you because I don't tell you. I put a little cocaine in the chalk. When my calluses bleed, the coke enters my blood system while I'm pulling. It's kind of like boofing. It's kind of like shooting it. But like neither of those things because those things are kind of sketchy. Why don't you just take it through the nose? I will take something through the nose. <laughs> now personally, I like deadlifts because if you do them wrong enough, it's you barely even use your legs at all. And just like that, it's a back workout. It's all the benefits of looking like you're doing legs with none of the downsides, like actually doing legs. And as a bonus, if you hurt yourself, now you have a legit excuse to actually just skip leg day. I gotta go see a doctor, dude. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz, shit, looks like I'm doing biceps today. Ugh. Super shit. <laughs> oh, dude, I feel good. Oh, back's feeling fucking sturdy. Uh, back to it, back in the game. Ooh, back to back. Most importantly, deadlifts are one of the few leg exercises where you can get an arm pump. Lack of arm pump contributes to up to 80% of leg day skippings. The other 120% is because leg day fucking sucks, shorts are for bicycle cops, and pants have already been invented. And now I know what you're thinking. Uncle Dom, that math is wrong. No, no, you're wrong. Because I skip leg day 200% of the time. Squats! <laughs> Guys who love squats shove their kids at t-ball practice and make their girlfriends get the fucking salad bar at Ruby Tuesdays. Woo! Ooh, you see that fucking PR, babe? Hitting Ruby twos later. Yeah, you're getting a salad bar though. No, no bread either. Yeah, no croutons either. You're better than that. Don't fucking embarrass me. These are ultimate tough guys who go out of their way to make their life tough 
to prove that their life is tough. Like guys named fucking Chip or Grant who inherited their dad's accounting firm and do mud runs for fun. You would think you're alpha because you do the exercise that everybody hates. I mean, what's the purpose of squats anyway? What are you training for? In case a fucking building collapses on you? Because I don't see any other real world application for this fucking exercise. And believe me, if you ever catch me doing squats, it's because I'm hoping the building collapses on me and fucking kills me. Walking lunges. Trying to find something alpha about leg day is like trying to justify the flyover for you smash last night. She thinks she's the hottest chick from a hometown in Kansas City, fucking Missouri. Well, guess what, Horothy? You're not in fucking Kansas anymore. Or Missouri, wherever the fuck it is. You're in the civilized world now, and your shit's selling at 50 cents on the dollar. I'm gonna take a knee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a knee real quick. She's not hot enough to brag about, and she's not hideous enough to be hilarious. So now you're looking for something redeeming, like, well, you know, her nipples were huge, but she didn't have tuberculosis. So that's, that's cool, I guess. That right there, that's like day. Big fucking trash can nipples. Doesn't cough blood though. Although it's very hard to find something alpha about leg day. There are two things that are alpha about walking lunges, okay? Number one, a lunge is the primary movement in teabagging someone. Nothing establishes your dominance like dipping your nutsack in someone's face. That's why they're in a sack. So they can be dipped, dangled, and dragged. All the movements in a walking lunge. Number two, doing walking lunges is an excuse to parade your pump around the gym slowly and repeatedly in front of people's space. Sorry, were you doing crunches there? Well, now you're thinking about my forearm veins. My fucking fifth arm vein. Yeah, so those are the two things that alpha about them about walking lunges, and to be honest, that's, that's scraping the bottom of the barrel there. But to spice it up, try adding some curls into your walking lunges. Really reignite the flame. Now for efficiency, try grabbing your dumbbells and just walking over to your destination and just doing curls there. Leg press. Leg press is the best way to establish that you are a true power bottom. It might not be the type of alpha you're looking for, but in a vacuum, as long as you're the most alpha in that specific situation, then you can consider yourself alpha. And that is exactly what leg day is, a vacuum. Cause it's in the closet and it fucking sucks. Load up as many plates as you can half rep and then push like you're giving birth to a child that you never wanted. Oh, it's crowning! Oh, it's crowning! Oh, Bradley. Ugh. Is it too late to abort this thing? <laughs> abort. Now, if you run out of plates or you just want everyone to see how easily you can handle the weight of a full grown man on top of you, then you can have your bro sit on the sled. And now from here, he can stare directly at your sweaty gooch while he shouts at you to get it up in front of a gym full of people that you see every day. Nothing gay about it. Get it up, bro! Get it up! Come on, fucking thrust it, dude! Fuck it! Yeah. Glutes! Glutes! Get up. Get it up for me, dude. Hard. Harder. Harder. Fucking deeper, dude. And lastly, the most alpha of all leg exercises. Skipping it entirely. Because nothing is more alpha than not giving a fuck. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every time I upload. That's technically not a lie. That's the truth. But if you want to expedite the process, you can go to DonLitch.com. Grab yourself a douchebag and fill it with douchebag things like fucking heart attack BCAA. Rusty shank blood orange flavor. Whatever that tastes like. A shirt with a frog that eats ass. Every household needs one of these. Or not pump. Start meth this year.